Welcome mates, I am Bloodthirsty Lord by Yinkami Lordy and today we're back on Fortnite Battle Royale. The idea for this video is to talk about the new shooting mode and also the new shooting system and how to aim like a pro in this new system because obviously it will come out very soon. You're able to play it right now in the limited time game mode so you'll be able to test it out and obviously practice on this new system. A lot more iterations will happen with this game mode until it's ready to go live in the normal game modes like solo squads and duos and so forth. Pretty much I'm going to tell you everything I know from the last couple of hours of playing this new game that just got released and also give you tips and tricks on how to utilize the new shooting system to become a pro with your aiming skills but mates before getting this video make sure you smash that play like button we are aiming for 200 likes on this video that we greatly appreciate if you do achieve that goal and also if you're new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our content on the daily so without further ado let's get straight into this and it honestly seems like in the first couple of hours of this new system being implemented everyone's enjoying it and they're loving this new system from players in the community to youtubers and twitch streamers i think it's gonna be a really great system to see implemented obviously it might need more iterations we don't know but it might happen in the near future because everyone's still testing it and see how it goes because obviously there's effects of damage multipliers damage fall off to certain weapons and so much more that we're going to discuss in this video so the general idea of what are epic games in the fortnite team was trying to achieve with this new system in the shooting category was first shot accuracy and also perfect accuracy plus recoil to certain weapons obviously there was a leaked version of this showcasing some of it in action but now we get the full version of it and we're obviously allowed to play it right now in the limited time game mode and it's really great to see first shot accuracy being implemented and recoil on some weapons and obviously if anyone's able to handle that recoil and also first shot accuracy it will lead to them to having some great aiming skills in general and also weapons now have first shot accuracy all weapons that can actually use first shot accuracy indicated by red glow on the reticle so obviously if you're standing still or pretty much crouching or aiming and not hip firing or aim spread is at peak accuracy basically if you haven't fired recently is different per weapon your reticle will turn red giving you 100 percent first shot accuracy to the target that you're going to hit obviously you'll be able to aim properly in order to land that first shot accuracy towards that target the next change that is applied in this game it is headshot critical hits have been reduced shotguns are now 150 percent damage was 250 percent and all other weapons with headshot crits are now 200 percent damage was 250 percent okay this leads to some weapons in the game i think the revolver can still one shot to a certain degree and some other weapons but when it comes to shotguns, aka pump shotgun, dual shotguns, or dual pumps rushing in towards enemies and try to headshot them, it's not going to do that much damage to instantly delete someone. So if they have shields on and you headshot them, I don't think it's enough to actually drop them down if they have full shield and full HP. So make sure that you're ready to switch that weapon to your next shotgun or have another weapon that you can switch to to pretty much drop them or have a teammate that can help you when you're rushing them. That's maybe the best options. And this does lead to a direct address of the dual pump shotgun problem that was occurring. Many people have their opinions on this situation with the dual pumps, but it seems like this is the best way to balance it out. Next thing is the damage fall off has been introduced for some weapons. Damage applies at 100% to fixed range, fall off begins at different ranges depending on the weapon in use and decreases to 70% damage. Sniper rifles, rockets, grenade launchers and shotguns are unaffected. So any weapon like a revolver, SMG, ARs, I think I'm not missing anything. Those weapons will obviously have damage fall off and once they reach that certain range when it's actually falling off, it will do only 70% damage of what it would usually do initially. So if you're in a distance or range that's obviously applicable to that weapon like SMG close range AR medium to long and such obviously the 100% fixed damage will be there on that certain range but once it exceeds that range it will only do 70% damage of what you actually could do with that weapon so pretty much if you're using any weapon that is affected don't use it from ranges that they don't work at and if there's fall off don't use that at all especially if you know it's going to fall off don't use it sniper rifles are going to be the best weapons for range fights in general and other balance changes have been adjusted in this game as such as semi-auto snipers has had its damage increase to 75 and 78 from 63 to 66 that was before and scoped assault rifle has had his damage increased to 25 26 from 23 24 plus two base damage to all smgs so smgs and the weapons that we just discussed are pretty strong at the moment in this new game mode because they do so much more damage and since the headshot multiplier has been decreased these weapons do a lot of damage just raw and that's what's really good about it especially the semi-auto sniper i have combinations with that maybe i might try it out and see how good that actually is i really don't use the semi-auto sniper 
the scopes, assault rifles, all the SMGs. So that gives you a reason to actually try them out and see how good they can actually be. Because those numbers are pretty decent, to be honest. So those are all the changes that are existing in the new shooting system and the new shooting gamer that you can try out right now and it's alive. So make sure to try it out and practice because if this does go into the live servers in the future, like everyone can actually play in any game mode, you want to be really good at it because if you are, you're going to excel so much more than other players that have never tested this new system before. And alongside all the information I just discussed and also the next part of actually how to aim like a pro, it's going to be really powerful when you get to use this in your hands when playing Fortnite on your PS4 controller or with your PC, your keyboard and mouse. It's going to be really good. So the first thing you want to do is adjust your sensitivity. This helps a lot because some players like really slow sensitivity, some people like that medium pace sensitivity, and some people play on some insane sensitivity that no one actually thinks of being a playable factor in the game. But people do play in those sensitivities. So if you have a certain sensitivity that feels right for you, please go with that. Don't try to change it because you see some pro player or some other person use a certain sensitivity in a pro scene or pretty much that's actually good in the game and you feel like you're not so good. Just stick with what you know because this will help build the basics of how to aim like a pro. But if you're brand new to the game, the slower the sensitivity and the motion of you trying to track your enemies, the better because obviously it will make it easy for you to land your shots from a distance and even close range without having that fast sensitivity that might make you lose track of where you're aiming is and where your opponent is at the same time. The next thing is weapons and their recall patterns. You need to understand these. Usually if you play over time, you'll be able to gain a great idea of what the recoil patterns are of each weapon and then when you use them you know what to do with each weapon if you're brand new to the game just pick up an smg pick up a pistol a revolver any type of weapon that you see on the ground and just start shooting it and see how it goes see how far it goes up maybe just go towards a wall a certain range away and start spraying like no tomorrow then you understand the recoil pattern. Then as a player, you want to manage that recoil. So with your sensitivity, usually you drag down on your thumbstick on your PS4 controller, or if you're playing on PC, you drag your mouse down and you manage that recoil with every burst you do take towards that opponent or that wall they try and shoot at as you're practicing to understand that recoil pattern. Because if you're able to manage it, you have to land more shots in general towards the opponent that you're targeting, meaning that you're doing more DPS damage per second towards that target. And that's what you want to achieve when trying to manage that recall, when you're trying to shoot towards the enemy that's at a distance or even close range. The next thing you want to work on is your positioning. The majority of the time, if you're on a higher elevated position compared to your opponent, you will most likely win. It's a lot more easier to aim down than it is to aim up because obviously there's a lot more factors you have to take into account when aiming up compared to the person that's aiming down towards you. And just by doing some of those tips that I just mentioned, you will end up winning the majority of your fights. That's what usually happens. But then when you get to the last 10 to 20 people in a match, those are the more experienced players and they understand the game more and you want to be better than those guys. And obviously I want to tell you how to do that. So now with your design sensitivity, followed up by your recall managing of your certain weapon they're using, maybe an AR, a scar, a legendary scar that you're picking up from an enemy opponent that you just destroyed, followed up by your positioning skills. Now we move on to crouching. Crouching is very good because this will lead to your crosshairs becoming smaller. And this is really great for long range shots with your certain weapons and in the new system fall off does happen so make sure to understand fall off with your certain weapon and play around those ranges so if you crouch and shoot you will land more shots compared to not crouching and shooting that's what usually happens so the next thing that you want to know is tracking your opponent's movement because they could actually build a staircase going up and they move in a certain angle or they can be jumping in a certain direction and you want to know what that jumping pattern is and that motion so when you go for your shots you can lead your shots on that opponent and you'll make sure those shots will land instead of randomly guessing when they're going to land. And usually, practice makes perfect here because you have to understand the motion and the timing in order to land those shots. Timing is very important as well because one tapping with your weapon is usually a lot more efficient than having a seizure and just pressing that button and shooting nonstop when the person's so far away and then none of your shots land. So make sure to have a moderate fire pace with your weapon or fire rate just shoot a couple shots see if they land if they do land keep doing that and if they come closer spray and pray for sure another thing is always make sure that your weapon or your crosshairs is always pointing towards the location of where the enemy's head will be because when you get that damage off towards that opponent you want to make sure you proc the headshot multiply as well so you're able to do more damage per second compared to just landing body shots and the best thing to do here is just aim at the place where you think their head's going to be when they're not even 
there yet. So maybe if you're entering a room and you know the guy's in the room, aim at the place where you think his head's gonna be. If you do land that headshot, you can get that multiply damage off and it's gonna be really good because most likely it's gonna make the other guy really terrified and then he just can't really do anything and then he panics, then you win that trade guaranteed. And after shooting towards the head, drag down and shoot towards their body. So you get the headshot multiplier followed up by those body shots, easy kill. And with the new shooting mode, you need to abuse the first shot accuracy. And this is very interesting because it says first shot accuracy. You expect every first shot in every magazine to give you that first shot accuracy or every engagement to give you that first shot accuracy. Actually, you can refresh the first shot accuracy by obviously standing still and crouching, but shoot one bullet, one tap, then wait for the reticle to go red, then shoot again and keep doing that. And you'll get guaranteed landed shots if you're good at your aiming or tracking and all that stuff that we talked about before. You'll be able to land every shot and get that kill on your opponent quite easily. So you need to abuse this factor quite a lot. Some weapons work differently, so the refresh times of the first shot accuracy benefits or factor will come up differently, so keep that in mind. And this does not apply to scoped weapons. So scoped AR and also the scoped snipers, being the semi and the bolts, they don't get first shot accuracy. I'm pretty sure they don't because you don't see the red reticle at all because some of them don't even have uh, crosshairs and i think the last thing that i want to mention is the play style of that certain weapon stick to it obviously if smg is being used close range is the best way don't always use weapons that work in a particular way obviously like a sniper close range is not the best way far away yes hell yeah use that sniper you win guaranteed because it's more effective at that range compared to close range because if you shoot one shot and you miss and you're kind of in this vulnerable state so you need to keep that in mind. Also, vulnerability. You have to be careful. Whenever you crouch or stand still to get that first shot accuracy, you're vulnerable. So enemy players can shoot you down. So be careful of that. Moving a lot is obviously very important. There's so many factors. But I think everything that we discussed in this video will make sure that you are a pro at aiming towards those opponents and understanding how to aim towards your opponents in this new shooting mode and obviously the new shooting system that will be implemented in the future to Fortnite Battle Royale. So hopefully this video did help you out a lot. But mates, as always, tell me your pins and thoughts in the comment section down below. And if I did miss anything in this video, tell me in the comment section down below so all the mates can know as well. Because there's so many factors I could go over, but this is maybe the best way to do so. And maybe I might break away into other videos talking about certain mechanics that can even give you a greater edge compared to what we discussed in this video. But mates, as always, tell me your pins and thoughts in the comment section down below. So if you did enjoy this video, show you support smash that button like button we are aiming for 200 likes on this video it would be greatly appreciated if you do achieve that goal and also if you make sure you want to see more fortnite battle royale gaming content and gaming content in general on my channel all you have to do is share with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today and that is all for this video i will tell them to go if you don't worry back very soon hey dance boys if you haven't seen nothing yet and what I love about doing videos like this, I give my tips off originally, then you guys give your tips in the comment section down below, and everyone becomes better players. That's what we want. <laughs>